Hey guys, so Sen and welcome to project 60 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this calculator project by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's suppose if I type something like 10, suppose, and if I click on this plus, and then let's just add 10 one more time. And if I click on this equal to sign, so it will now gives us 20 right here, okay? So if I want to remove that, so I can just click on this C and it will now just remove that. And now let's suppose if I just click on like, um, I don't know, 20, and then, uh, I don't know, minus 10. So it now gives us 10 right here. And if I just click on like 10 and times two, so it will, oh, come on, 10 times two. Okay, and if I just click on equal to sign, so it now gives us 20. If I just write something else like, uh, I don't know, a 30 uh, divided by two. Okay, so if I just, come on, what the hell? 30 divided by two. Okay, so it now gives us 15. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. Create a folder, and now we have to give him some sort of name like 060 calculator. Inside this calculator folder, we are going to be creating three files. The first one, or not three, but just two would be fine. So the first one will be index.html. Then we have is a style.css file, okay? Now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code. All right, so that's that. Now let me just write our doc type HTML right here, and here I'm gonna just change the title to be like calculator. Okay, and now let's just link it with our CSS file, and now we are good to go. So now let me just collapse this metadata from there. Right click on it and open it with a live server so that we are live. Now the next thing which you have to do is for HTML. So we are going to be first of all writing a form, and we are not going to be providing any action to it, but we are going to be giving a class of calculator and also the name of like calc okay inside this form you are going to be creating an input so now let me just get our input right here and the type will be text and the class will be value name will be just txt for now and also let me just give them a read only property and it will be set to like empty and it should be txt so save it now the next thing which you have to do is to just write a span and the class of num okay so now let me just write there and also let me just duplicate it a few times like 16 times so that we can work with that now the first one will be set to c then we have is a times then we have is a divide button then we have time then we have seven at nine then we have to just write our minus right here minus operator and then we have to just write four five and six okay so that's that now let's just here write our plus symbol right here and now let's duplicate a few times and here we are going to be writing one two three and four now let's just write our zero and duplicate two times and then it will be zero zero and finally this one will be just a dot now let me just zoom out a bit so this is our html code and now let me just write a few classes like this and we'll have a clear class and then we have um plus symbol where is a plus so now let's just write a plus right here plus class and finally i've already forgot to just write a span in here so span with a class of num and equal okay inside there we are going to be just using this equal to operator and once we save it so this is our html code so now let's just go to our css and now let's just style that a bit so the first thing i'll do is i'll select everything and i'm going to give them all like a margin of zero the padding will be zero box sizing will be just border box and then font family will be sans serif save it and this is how everything look like right now and then we have to just get our body and inside this body we are going to be writing like a display of flex justify content of center align items are center and then background will be just like um 1b 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 okay and also let me just write like a main height of 100 vh save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let me just zoom out a bit and now the first thing which you have to do is that we have to select our calculator so now let me just get our calculator right there position will be relative and display will be grid save it and this is how it looks like and now the next thing which you have to do is to get or value right here okay so let me just get this value class and now let me just first of all select my calculator inside this calculator we have to select our value grid column will be just set to like span and four okay and now let's just give my height of 100 pixel 
and also text align will be set to right everything will be set to right now let's just remove that ugly border and also outline will be set to none now let's just add a padding of 10 pixel font size of 18 pixels once we save it and now this is our input box right here okay now the next thing which you have to do is to get all of these pens right here and now let's just style that so for that we are going to be writing first of all a calculator and now let's just get our span and here i'm going to just add like a display of grid on it grid and then the width will be like 60 60 pixel and the height will be also 60 pixel and now let's just add a background background of um this 29 29 29 right here and also the place items and now it will be now set to center center come on center and now we have to just add a little bit of border around them like one pixel solid rgba and now let's just write a 0 0 0 and 0 0.1 alpha transparency so save it and this is how it looks like right now everything is perfectly centered and we have this border around them and now let's just get into or the active state so whenever we click on these buttons so each of these buttons will just like show us um you know, different kind of background colors so now let's just get there so calculator get our span and now let's just write our active so if our button is active so now you want to just change the background to rgb255 like kind of a yellowish color and 163 and 26 okay so that's that now let's just change the color to like 111 would be fine save it and now if i just click on that so here you can see the background color will be changed so if i click on each of them so here you can see that's that all right so you know instead of 111 i'm going to just write f f f so if you click on there so i think that would be cool all right so now the next thing which you have to do is to get or clear button right here this c button so we want to get this button first of all let me get my calculator then we have to get our span with the class of clear and also grid column so let me know equals to like span and two and now let me just write like a width of 120 pixel and also the background will be just rgb and now let's just change that to 255 and 163 like the same color of like above and 26 okay so that's that save it and here you can see we have this clear button right here and now let me just change the color to like fff totally white that doesn't bring a lot of contrast so you know what i'm gonna comment it for now i don't know if you like that so you can just change the color to like white but in my case that's not uh that much attractive so i'm gonna just comment it out all right so now let's just get our plus button and now let's just style that so where is our plus button there we go so now let's just get our plus button uh not just like that let me get it like calculator then span and then plus okay so now let's just write like grid rows and it will be now equal to span 2 and now let's just provide a height to it like 120 pixel okay so once we save it so here you can see we have this plus button right here okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'll just uh, select this equal to button and change the background color of it to like something else let me just change get the calculator span and then we have a equal and now let's just select them and change the background color to um 03 um b1 fff yeah ff would be fine save it and this is how it looks like but i guess i messed something up in html let me just quickly fix that okay so we don't have four <laughs> now let me just remove that four from there save it and this is how it looked like right here we can also use this color as um equal to button now let me just show you that how that would be look like let me copy this color comment out this one and paste the other one save it and i guess that's looking a bit attractive than this one so let me just say bye bye to him oh you know what i'm gonna leave it there if you like that other color so you can use this one but in my case i'm gonna go with this one so i guess that's looking cool and all right so we are done with the ui so now let's jump right into the javascript and let's just provide our javascript right here so the first thing i would do for javascript is i'll just create an eval function and let me just search for eval function for you let me just open my incognito tab and here a function in javascript okay so first of all we are going to be opening or w3 schools and also where was the other one i was searching for 
I guess it was that one, Mozilla Developer.org. Okay, so it says, it clearly says, like, do not use this function right here, but we would still use this function because we have just like a, this tiny application and we are not working on some sort of like React and we are not just getting a data from somewhere else. So that's why we are going to be just using that. So it says, like, executing JavaScript from a string is a big security risk with eval function like eval method malicious code can be in and run inside your application without your permission and also with eval method the third party code can see the scope of your application which can lead you to a possible attacks okay so it means like do not use that <laughs> it just clearly is like do not use that but we are going, still going to be using that inside this function so if you want to learn more about that so here is that definition if you want to check that out but here you can see the use cases of it like we have this function i mean like that method or function whatever you want to call it but as a string we provide like two plus two so it will give us the result of four right here okay so if you pro provide a javascript expression so it will give us the same result like here you can see we have this x equal to two y equal to four and now here if you add that so it will gives us the result of six right here like four and plus two will gives us the result of six so it's now giving us this result if you want to learn more about that so you can just learn about that <laughs> here it is also saying like no use eval and it's dangerous and whatnot and uh, but we are going to be still using it anyhow so if you just click on this equal to button so we want to do, first of all just write like document dot calc and now let's just get our txt of value and it will be now equals to this eval function um here we are going to be just passing like calc dot txt dot value okay so that's that and now once we save it and here we are going to be attaching the event listener to all of these spans so let me just um make it like so and also i want to click here i'm holding my alt key and now i'm clicking so here you allow me to just do a multiple selection if you want to learn more about visual story coder so i've got an entire course on that if you want to check that out which is by the way totally for free okay so now let me just write like on click so one okay on click so once we click so you want to just call like document dot uh, calc dot text not text but txt dot value and we want to add equal to like plus equal to and these specific values right here so the first one is this one let me just copy it and paste it here second one is this one third one will be this one fourth one will be let me just copy it really quickly and so on and so forth right here copy this one as well paste it here copy paste <laughs> copy paste <laughs> i had doing copy and pasting but <laughs> guess what we are doing it copy it and paste it copy it paste i should just stop saying copy and paste <laughs> and finally we've got a dot and i also forgot to uh, add this event listener in here so now let me just add that so on clicks not on um the whatever that was but on click and it will be now equals to document dot calc.txt dot value and it will be now equals to just an empty string so it will just allows us to clear the strings uh i mean like <laughs> clear the input so once we save that and now let's just add some values like let me just uh click on this uh one and plus one and it will now gives us the result of two right here and i don't know why these colors are looking a bit weird i guess i messed up something let me just go to my css and color is white on active and you know what i'm going to change this color to totally white and yeah this is looking a bit cool you know what i'm going to go with this ui if you want to change that out so you can all right so that was that so if you click on this c button so it will now clear it out and now if you just check like two plus two it will give us four clear it two minus two will give us zero clear it two times two will give us four right here clear it two uh, divided by two will give us one right here. now let's just clear it and now let's suppose if you want to do like a huge kind of calculation <laughs> not huge but let me just click on um like 100 plus and uh, i don't know 10 would be fine so it will give us 110 so here it will now give us 110 right here so if you click on that it will now just remove it all right so this is what i want to show you in this video so this is the html code but let me say this one more time do not use this eval function in your code because it's not eval but it is a evil function <laughs>
Alright, so I guess that was it about today's video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.